Right now, let's go into Waikiki. Mark Carpenter standing by. Mark. Thank you very much. You know what's wild, Joe, is we're really seeing the transformation of this area in real time. In the last 15 minutes since we spoke, uh, the rain has come down a little bit more. The wind has picked up. But nonetheless, people still out in the water. You have people going to take uh, residents and uh, tourists alike taking pictures out on the wall. Uh, surfers, paddle boarders taking advantage of the conditions that we're seeing. You can see right now it's really firing by walls, queens, pops, threes off in the distance. The tide has really picked up as well. And talking with the National Weather Service over the last 24 hours, this is all. Uh, this is all anticipated. This is projected in the forecast on the south shore. The surge is going to pick up, anticipating uh, wave conditions 10 to 20 feet. Also talking with the Hawaii Tourism Authority, they have plans in place, disaster readiness. Uh, the thing is, in all those plans, uh, a common theme was that the visitors and residents stay off the beach, stay out of these areas which are extremely prone to flooding. Uh, and also, since we last talked, the ABC store across the street from us, uh, Kalakaua Avenue, is uh, being boarded up. So, I mean, it's still open for now, but boards are on most of the windows. We're going to be feeding in that video soon. Uh, but just kind of gives you a, a picture and some context and what's happening very quickly, this, this storm. Highly unstable. You can see the conditions here happening in real time. Once again, we are here at Walls Waikiki monitoring the activity with Hurricane Lane. Mark Carpenter reporting. Back to you in studio, Joe.